hi everyone so and um, just literally uh, just before eight o'clock and um, just received my dishwasher and um, i just thought i'd do another unboxing video for you but obviously this one gonna be on a much larger scale and um, i'm also shooting this on my new oneplus um eight pro as well a bit awkward having to try and find um, somewhere to stand prop it up with a cup don't have any, I will have to get a tripod for it soon enough and as I say I will get a decent camera for it. So this, I have bought this in black because um, it is to go with all of my uh, appliances that I do have in the, in the kitchen apart from um, which my tongue dryer you know is um, graphite. Because um, I think I'll get the black one. But hopefully I will eventually get the black one. Um, my only concern was I did have a review or see the reviews of it and it didn't get very good um, it only got 6.5 out of 10 on review I think if you pronounce it like that but still I wanted this one for, for a long and I've always liked um, I've had hot point dishwashers I've had the Indusit before but I mean hot point Indusit are basically the same You do get like the installation guide with it, so not that I'm, well, I know how to do it anyway. So it'll be installed um, a bit later on because I need to get some dish some minutes aid and some dishwasher salt as well. So I think that's what you've got initially put in when you first um when you first buy this you can have, like, have the salt. You've got to put at least a kilo of salt in the in the machine anyway. Yeah, it's not as deep as I thought it was going to be. See, um, if I turn it around, so I would say it's probably about as deep as the Kenwood one I had, so. But then again, looks can be deceiving, so it probably goes back as far as here, so. Who knows? Let's take that down. More wood. <laughs> so. Yeah. It was a bit awkward when you have to do it for your own. Let's chop this out of the way. So, there we go. In all its glory. So, the model number is, uh, we'll have to try and find it in a minute. <laughs> So the model number is HFSE, I think 11819B UK. I'll leave a link in the description as well uh, for the Hotpoint website where you can like, have a look at this. So if you are interested in buying it, um, I will tell you where when you click where to buy it, it will give you all of the options where you can actually buy the um, where, you can, where you can buy this from. This one, um, I did get. Apologise. Um, I did get this from Appliances Direct, um, as I was going to buy it on AO.com, but I had to buy it on Appliances Direct instead. Apologise, I'm itching myself. <laughs> um, there he is. Yeah, so, so yeah, so there you go. You get all the um, instruction manual and the energy rating. This is an A+. Plus. Uh, 
Toss it in there, there you go. So, just gonna bring you up. <laughs> so it's a very simple design. And basically all you've got, your power button, your tablet, not if you like having a tablet, self-explanatory program dial, um, your time delay, and your start pause button. Only thing is though, you've got the del the the button. The, um, as I was looking at this on pictures before, it's got the time delay things, but there's no wash progression, so you can't actually see if it's on wash wash dry and end. So it's a bit disappointing. But other than that, um, so you got your um, you got your tablet compartment there. So I assume that oh well, you push that button. Oh, there you go. And then you push. It's a bit different from the uh, last hot point I had because you literally had to flip it over. So this one make will make it a lot easier to click in. I assume that's like yeah, that's your rinse aid. Um, as all for the usual stuff there. Um. So let me just zoom out a bit more. There we go. So you do have here your cutlery basket, usual stuff, and you got your you got your trays here. Obviously, if you're standing, like stuff on top, like knives and stuff, or you want to prop up uh, wine glasses. Um. And the, oh yeah, then you do get your funnel for putting your salt in. The good thing is these clips here. They actually lower and raise it. Unlike the last one, I literally had to take clips out, take the whole basket out, and it made it a lot awkward to um, like get it up. So obviously, if I've got anything that's large, so all I've got to do is apologise for the camera angles, push the two buttons in. Usually, that's what happens. Oh no, that's actually that's actually raised it. Apologise about that. I didn't realise it had been would been lowered. So yeah, so you just literally pull it up. And to lower it, just push them two buttons in and it lowers it. I don't know. I'm still having trouble getting them down, but I'll figure that out later. And like I say, there's the bottom bit here. Let me get rid of that polystyrene. Right? Usual bottom basket. What I find with the better one with the hot points is you do have a lot more um, space to put like cutlery, uh, like crockery there. Because literally what this does, you put it on there and literally slide it anywhere you want. Whereas the Ken would literally have to sit roughly there. And I can only put like, maybe a couple of plates, but and stuff there, stuff there, stuff there. Um, bit annoying, these are not foldable. Um, yeah, these are not fo foldable at all. Bit annoying, but other than that. Yeah, um, these bits here cannot be folded either, so a bit annoying, but never mind. So what I'll do, I'll get this all set up um, eventually, and I will literally get it going for a test run, and I will see, and I'll, and I'll see you guys in the next one.